We have yet another smart home hub to discuss today. It seems like since the rollout of Matter, we've seen more and more of these smart home hubs. So we'll talk about that a little bit today, but we're gonna take a look at this new Matter Hub by Zimmy Smart and determine if this could be a good addition to your smart home. There are more and more of these types of products becoming available, but this one at almost an eighth of the cost of other Matter Hubs, it might be a compelling option for you. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Shane and this channel is all about building an easy Apple home, smart home with new videos and live streams published every week. I have here today the Zimmy Smart Matter Hub. Now, there are two things that really stand out about this device when compared to others out there on the market right now. One, the price point. At the time of this recording, it's only $53 on Amazon. Compare that to the steep $399 Homey Pro or even steeper $499 Hoobs Pro. And two, this Matter Bridge claims to support thread out of the box. That would make this the first third party Matter Bridge that I've seen or used that actually supports the thread protocol. Now, a few of the other ones claim that they will in the future, and maybe they will even by the time this video is released, but so far there has been nothing but promises. So let me cover everything that you need to know about this device. We'll put it through some tests and ultimately determine if it could be a good addition to your smart home. Full disclosure, Zemi Smart did send me out this hub and a few sensors so I could test it out and share it with you at no cost, but you're gonna get my honest thoughts and opinions here as always. First and foremost, this is labeled as a Matter Hub with support for Zigbee 3.0 and Thread. Now, if you're unaware, those are both wireless protocols and they are probably ones that you would want supported by a smart home hub like this. They say this hub allows Toya standard Zigbee devices to integrate into your third party platforms such as Google Home or HomeKit. So let's get it fired up and see what happens. Upon opening the box, you're presented with a Matter code, a pretty simple little plastic box here. We do have another instance of the Matter code on the bottom of the hub, as well as on the user manual. We get a SIM tool, a short ethernet cable, and a USB-C to USB-A cord. No power brick is included, you'll have to supply your own. Overall, not a terrible looking hub, pretty basic. It has these little rubber feet on the bottom, has an ethernet port, meaning you can plug it directly into your router or access point, which is good. USB-C port for power and a reset button here on the back. To set it up, I found an old USB power brick, used that to plug in the hub and then connected it directly to my Wi-Fi access point. I am currently using the Netgear Orbi Wi-Fi 7 mesh system for anyone who's curious. Once plugged in, you can see the two status LEDs. One is a status indicator and the other is a network pairing indicator. Initial setup involves using the Smart Life app. This is basically a rebranded Toya app, if you're at all familiar with that. The app automatically discovers the hub on my network and I'm able to easily add it to my app. Not bad at all, so far so good. Of course, the first thing I wanted to do was to add it to my Apple Home setup. So to do that, I need to tap Share via Matter Gateway. Similar to most Matter devices, this will put the device into pairing mode and present you with a code that you can use to add to your other smart home ecosystems like Apple Home, Google Home, Smart Things, etc. Add new device in Apple Home, paste in that code, and there we go, it's working. I can add it to a room in my Apple Home and rename it here. I did find this strange. Setting up the hub in Apple Home presented me with the access codes prompt. So this is kind of weird. This is something you would normally see when adding a smart lock to Apple Home. So I don't know about that, kind of weird. Moving on, I can see the bridge is now paired to Apple Home. It is indeed paired via Matter. I can see the connected services in the settings and so far it is connected to Toya and Apple Home via Matter. And I did successfully add it to Google Home later on as well. Now it's time to add some child devices to the hub. I'm gonna start with some Zigbee devices. Then I wanna try some thread devices and maybe even some Matter over Wi-Fi devices, you know, just to see what happens. Zimmy Smart sent me a motion sensor a temperature and humidity sensor, a contact sensor, and a smart bulb, 
all Zigbee based. It's pretty easy to simply add a new sub device. Once turned on, the app basically detects it automatically, really couldn't be any easier. Now, if I jump over to the Apple Home app and look for my Zimmy Smart M1 hub over there, I can see connected accessories and sure enough, there is our motion sensor. So this is pretty typical as far as hubs go, but you know, basically once you pair a child accessory to the Zimmy Smart Bridge, that accessory is automatically exposed to any third party apps or ecosystems that the hub is, you know, has already been paired to like Apple Home in this case. So I went on to add a few more of the Zigbee devices to the hub and even added a generic Zigbee water shutoff valve all paired up to the hub with no issues and all were exposed to other third-party ecosystems like Apple Home and Google Home. Next, I wanted to try to add a thread accessory because again, this is pretty much the first third-party Matter Hub that I've seen that actually has a working thread radio in it. I was able to successfully pair this 2.0 contact sensor to the Zimmy Smart Hub. This is a matter over thread contact sensor. I also tried to add a 2.0 thread button to the hub next, but I get this error stating that this matter device is not supported. And Zimmy Smart or Toya here is not alone in this case. Uh, in a recent video here on the channel, we discussed some of the matter limitations currently and how some matter devices like this smart button may not be supported by all ecosystems. Google Home and for example, don't support matter buttons yet at the time of this recording. So, you know, just something to be aware of. Anyways, pretty neat that I can in fact add thread accessories directly to this hub. The thread child devices do not get exposed to HomeKit or other ecosystems though, not like the Zigbee child devices we set up first. We'll come back to this in a minute. Lastly, I did want to attempt to pair some matter over Wi-Fi devices to the hub again, just to see what happens. So I attempted with a few devices, including this beautiful new matter light strip by Yeelight. Big thanks to Yeelight for sponsoring today's video. Yeelight also makes the Yeelight cubes, which also support matter over Wi-Fi and are actually in the background of every one of my videos right there, back there between my two home pods. The cubes are a super cool modular lighting product that look amazing, you know, for your desk setups or your gaming setups. I did a whole video on those. I'll link below in the description, but they also have this new matter light strip that will work with just about every smart home ecosystem. Again, thanks to matter. I love the dark charcoal color on this light strip. Great for installing on, you know, darker furniture or gadgets. It's cuttable and extendable. And since it works with the Yeelight Station app, just like the Yeelight Cubes and the Beam light bars, you can take advantage of some super cool effects, make your own effects, sync to the music, and sync to your games or your screens. I'll put links to these products down below in the description so you can check them out for yourself if interested. And again, since they support Matter, they should work with any Matter controller, including Apple Home, Google Home, or this Smart Life app that we're talking about here today. As you can see, I can control the new Yeelight light strip and the Yeelight cubes right here in the Smart Life app. Again, since they're paired to it through Matter. Super cool. All right, so let's kind of bring all this home here. What does all this mean? And you know, who is this product for? Well, in a nutshell, I think this device is good if you want an easy and affordable way you know, to get cheap generic Zigbee devices into your smart home ecosystem of choice, whether that be Apple Home, Google Home, smart things, etc. The fact that it has a working thread radio is cool, but doesn't really matter. <sighs> At least I don't think that'll matter to most people. So let me explain this. You can add matter over thread and even matter over Wi-Fi devices to this hub, just like I did today. But there's really no point. One, because they won't show up in your third party ecosystems like Apple Home, you know, if you're using that. And two, you really don't need them to because you can just add those devices directly to those ecosystems because, you know, everything supports matter, right? So the only reason that I can see that you'd ever really need to add a matter over thread device or a matter over Wi-Fi device to your Zimmy Smart Matter Hub is if you actually want to use the Smart Life or slash Toya Smart Home Ecosystem or app for control and automations. So 
that is possible. It is a Matter controller app, um, you know, but I do assume that most people won't want to do that. You're probably just going to want to use one of the big ones, you know, so you can use voice control and stuff like that, like Siri or Google. I also think that's where the bigger, pricier hubs like Homey Pro or Hoobs Pro differentiate a little bit from something like this. You know, technically it is a Matter controller just like these other, you know, hubs and platforms, but I do think you're much more likely to use Homey Pro or Hoobs, you know, as your smart home automation platform, just because they have a lot of really powerful automation capabilities and other features. Again, you could still use the Smart Life app for all that, but I just think you're more likely to use this Zimmy Smart Hub as a simple bridge to integrate your Zigbee devices into other ecosystems. Matter is supposed to simplify the smart home for all of us, but I'm not so sure that's the case. However, don't worry, I'm here for you every week with new videos and live streams. So turn on notifications so you don't miss the next time I go live. We can talk about Matter or any of this smart home stuff in the next live stream. If you'd like to support this channel even further and get some access to some pretty cool perks like my private member Discord server, hit that join button down below for more details. Thanks again to Yeelight for sponsoring today's video. Again, links to their awesome Matter lighting products are down below in the description. You can get some cool little ye light cubes or that new light strip like I have here today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.